If you want to be successful in video editing, whether you're a content creator, doing business projects, or basically anything, you're gonna need AI, whether you like it or not. Back in the 90s, a lot of people were against the rise of computers. Those people, they fell off. The same thing is happening right now with AI. So today you guys are gonna learn how to use AI to your advantage. That's why I'm gonna show you five AI tools every video editor needs. Number one, type in text and Adobe Firefly will generate sound effects for you. It's included with your Adobe subscription, so you better use it. So first you can upload your video in here. I have this spaceship that I wanna add sound to. Then on the top left, describe the sound you wanna generate. For example, deep roaring thrusters. Let's click on generate. Okay, so these are the variations. The first one. No, that one's not usable. The second one. Yeah, this one is okay. The third one. Okay, definitely usable. The last one. Hmm, that one could work if we could combine it with the third one. This is what it sounds like with the third variation only. Okay, if you now click add audio track, then select the empty one, and now click another variation, you can play around with the sounds, slide them around until they are satisfied. Yeah, this is not bad at all. Now let's try the voice performance feature. You basically mimic the sound of your video with your voice, record it and upload it right here. So this is what I recorded. Now let's see what it generated. All right, variation one. Hmm, nah, variation two. Not that good. Variation 3. Oh man, for a second I thought I heard a TIE fighter at the end. Number 4. Yeah, that one is a little too much. But overall, this sounds really cool. And there you have it generate sound effects. Let me know what you guys think of it. Number two, this tool is called Hypernatural. Long story short, you can create a video by prompting, for example, an ID for a story, script or podcast, and in about two minutes, you'll have a ready to share video. Let's try creating one. Perhaps we can write a story about a young, struggling video editor who rises to fame after countless failures. I can choose from dozens of styles for my video or create a custom one. That's also possible. I'm going with this one for the length short. The length of the video can be unlimited by the way. Now Hypernatural created a script for my story which is customizable. So huge storytelling potential. Next choose an AI narrator. I'm going for Anthony. You can change the style again if you want, aspect ratio or choose a character. Now this is amazing because these characters are consistent. If you choose one of these your video will have a consistent face throughout the entire story. You can also create your own characters but more about that later. Now let's make the video. Two minutes later, here you go. A complete story, ready to post to your socials. All the generated b-roll is aligned to your script. Of course, everything can still be adjusted. Something simple like the captions for example or the colors. But what if you're not happy with one of the images? You can just regenerate the entire ID. This is cool, but let's keep it in the same style. On the right, you can even reposition the image or change the animations. The transitions can be adjusted as well, both for the in and out points of your clips. Okay, but what if I want to make a story that features me? Well, go to characters and right here you can create your own characters. Upload your image and click on generate. Then give it a description and there you go. Ooh, let's make a story. Hmm. An ID. Timon has only one hour left to finish a big video editing project. Now let's see what it came up with. Choose this one, continue, YouTube short. For the style, I want to have a 3D animation this time. And of course, consistent characters are turned on. Click generate video and here we go. That looks amazing. With only one hour left on the clock, Timon's hands tremble as he frantically edits his video project. 
sweat beating on his brow. Now, this is actually really interesting for people who want to make a faceless YouTube channel or perhaps a huge faceless Instagram account. I am genuinely convinced that you can create successful social media channels by using this tool. I mean, a lot of people have already done it. So why can't you? Quick moment to thank Hypernatural for giving me the chance to test it out and show it to you guys. And thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Oh, and if you like the trial, make sure to use the code PremierBasics2025 for a 10% off your first month. Let's move on to AI tool number three, the Media Intelligence Search Panel. You can find it back in the window menu, or you can simply click the magnifying glass icon on the top right. This panel in Premiere Pro helps you find your assets much faster. You can use everyday language, spoken words, metadata, camera type, or anything as a keyword. If I want to find my car shots, I just type in car and there you go. They will appear right here. I can then drag it in the timeline from the search panel. Let's try another one. Sunset for example. There you go. All my clips with sunsets. Now let's say I only want to see footage that was shot with my Panasonic Lumix GH6. Then I can probably just type in GH6 and there you go. It found my camera type in the metadata. That's a huge time saver. You can also filter between everything visuals metadata and text. Now, this is actually a big deal for editors who are working on huge projects because it really helps you find your shots faster. AI tool number four, the voice enhancer. This one has changed a lot since it was released. At the beginning, it was terrible, but actually I haven't really tested it for a long time. So let's give it another shot. So here I have my speech clip in the timeline and all you gotta do is click the little speech button on the top right of your audio clip. This will open up the essential sound panel. In here here, click on the enhance button, let it do its thing and this is what it sounds like. If you want to be successful in video editing, whether you're a content creator, yeah, it still sounds too processed. So not really that good. This is what it sounds like without enhanced speech, by the way. <laughs> If you want to be successful in video editing, whether you're a content creator, that sounds better. Maybe it's a great tool for enhancing really old recordings or something, but it's still not replacing manual audio processing. And yes, you can play around with the mix amount that will basically mix the wet and dry signal, but still, I really think this feature kills your voice. AI tool number five. This is Meshy AI. It's a tool you can use to generate 3D objects from text and then place those objects in your video. It's really really cool and I actually made an entire video about it. So if you want to continue the video, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching.